Hey guys, welcome back. It's Low for Low Nose, and today I'm going to help you wrap your head around OBS Studio so you can start creating your own videos. Up next. Okay, so right now we're just gonna look at some basic features and options of OBS Studio so you can get up and running and start creating your videos right away. I will have some more in-depth videos on my channel, but until then, right now we're just gonna focus on capturing your display, capturing the audio from your display, and recording a mic source to all of that as well. That can be used for maybe um, tutorial videos, um, such as how to do something like what I'm doing now, or maybe capturing, capturing your gameplay and capturing the audio and your voice at the same time. All right, so first things first. Um, go ahead, go to obsproject.com so you can download OBS Studio. I would prefer, get the 64-bit version. I mean, most of us have 64-bit operating systems, so go ahead and start with that. And then once you're finished done installing OBS, you'll start off here. Now, when you start off, your theme will most likely look like this, white. But me personally, I just prefer the dark-looking theme. All right, so let's take a look here. What do we have here? We have our scenes, our sources, we have our, our mic setup, and our desktop audio. Okay, so first things first, let's go to settings. From settings, we'll go to general, and if you like, you can switch it to dark. Me, I totally prefer dark. Okay, and we'll take a brief look at the, the encoding or recording options for your videos. We're not, we're not gonna get too depth into depth into that right now. I'll have some future videos. Um, with that. So right now, let's uh, let's leave our output mode on simple. Okay, and we'll go straight to recording and choose the recording path where you want your videos to go. Okay, I like to put all my recordings on my scratch disk. I like to just have it just go, go there straight in root. Uh, recording quality, do we want it the same as the stream? Probably not. Uh, right now, the um, by default is 2500. That's two, uh, two megabytes. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, 2.5 megabytes. Uh, th that's not a lot, you know, it's, it's great for streaming, but not really good enough for recording. Um, so what do we want to do? Okay, so you have three options. High quality, indistingu indistinguishable quality, and lossless quality. Let's go ahead and pick indistinguishable quality. Um, the high quality, it's it's not really high quality. I've, I've checked all of these options. I I've already gone through all the paces, even when I was learning myself. And the lossless quality... I'm gonna jump forward a second. The lossless, lossless quality, well, yes, it is true. It has a large file size. Um, gosh, it, it really doesn't give you like that true one-to-one -one look where you can't tell the difference between your desktop and what you're recording is. So it's, it's in my opinion, it's not really worth it, especially if, you're, if what you're recording is just gonna go straight to like maybe a little phone or uh, a monitor or, or a tablet. Um, so for now, let's stick with indistinguishable, I can't say that word, quality. Okay, and th that'll give you the um, right in the middle, not too low uh, quality, not too high quality, just right in the middle. Um, good enough what we're trying to do, at least good enough for us to start off. Recording format, change this to MP4. Okay, this, uh, this is the most easiest to work with uh, container as far as using with your uh, your software editing programs, um, and just it's easier on the CPU to just kind of handle it. If you put like a, a .mov file, .mkv file, these are harder for the CPU to actually uh, work with when you're trying to edit your videos. So let's start with MP4, and also MP4, it's a, it's a favorite of YouTube, even though YouTube takes plenty of different codecs to upload. All right, encoder software. If you have a weak, if you feel you have a weak CPU, then you would want to pick this, uh, the low CPU usage preset, but increase the file size. Um, me, me, I have a NVIDIA card, so I would choose this if I wanted to stay with the simple. Um, but for now, for default, let's just go with uh, software. If you really feel you really have a cheap, slow computer, like maybe like an i3 or something, um, an old, uh, what was, it? was it AMD? You know, the, the other side, Team Red. Uh, then go ahead, you can pick this one, but it, it's not gonna make a difference as far as the quality, it's just gonna make a difference on how far um, how hard you're making your computer work and leaving available resources for other tasks. All right, so we'll pick 64 encoder. And if you can see right now, we're not dealing with any, with any kind of bitrate options. We're just getting right into there. Okay, so review, output mode, simple. Recording path, pick your report, recording path. Pick the middle, middle one, indistinguishable. Recording format, MP4, encoder, software, X264. All right, for audio, 
depending if you're matching this up with your camcorder, uh, I'm sorry, or like a, a video source, um, anything for video, me personally, I like to have it 48 hertz. It just makes it easier syncing up uh, the, the, the audio and, I'm sorry, to make it simple, 44100 is CD quality. 48100 is DVD quality used for video. So if you're doing that, I would suggest using 48 hertz. Um, yeah, it takes up a little more space. It's just audio with just a little space, but it just makes things a lot, uh, a lot easier in my personal uh, experiences. Okay, and these options you can actually adjust from here as well, but for now, we'll, we will tackle that in a future episode. Okay, let's go to video. Okay, so right now, this is what your, your actual, the base canvas resolution. This is what your actual computer is displaying at. My monitor, I have a 2K monitor. So by default, it, sh it displays at 25600 by 1440. That's 2K resolution. How, when I do my recordings, how, what do I want the output resolution file to be? Well, for all my videos, I like to have it 1920 by 1080. It's all up to you. Uh, the higher the resolution is, the harder your computer will work. And you can see right here on the bottom where it says CPU, it'll give you an understanding of how hard your computer is working to do the encoding uh, and just kind of basically put the entire OBS project together. Okay, down, downscale filter. Again, this all depends on your computer. If you feel like you have a strong enough computer, you can mess with these samples. Uh, me personally, I have like a Intel 5280, I think. Yeah. Uh, and easy to, easy to look at. Worse, medium, best. You have the hardware to use it, then pick the best one. Common FPS values. This is where if you want to record your videos at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. So keep this in mind. This is a really popular uh, feature option of OBS because a lot of people like to record their videos in 60 frames per second. For now, we'll just start, we'll just start off with 30 frames per second because we're going to record at 30 frames per second. Um, and hotkeys, we'll cover that later. And advanced, you can leave all of this by de default because we're just going to, we're just jumping straight into it. Okay, so we've got those basic recording options and encoding options of our video out of the way. Let's actually create something to do. Okay, so think of a scene as a house. And everything that we put in that house will encompass our scene, whether our scene has multiple different cameras um, or like more different rooms. So let's, let's just say, let's add our source. Let's add a room to it. And for this video, we're gonna focus on just capturing our display. So we will do a display capture, create new, and we're gonna call this our first display. We will call it desktop. Okay, oh, I'm sorry, let's call it my desktop. Okay, boom, all right, here we go. So this is the actual desktop we are looking at. Now, from this point here, you're basically ready to go. Anything that shows up on your desktop will be, will show, will be recorded here. So if I, if I press on my Internet Explorer, I'm recording my Internet Explorer. Okay, and let's just say, do I have a video game? Uh, all right, Bejeweled. Okay. Okay, so now right here, Bejeweled is in window mode, right? But because it's recorded on the desktop, it's recording right there. So if you want, you can just, like, you can blow it up, and now it's, it's recording just like that. For working, for, for working with me. Okay. All right, and what if you want to record like an actual video game? Okay, well, let's... Uh, I'm gonna start up my game right now. We're gonna load up some Office Freakout. I'm, at, I'm the actual voice in this game, if you didn't know. Okay. All right, and you can see right now, because it's because our options are set to capture our display only, whatever we bring up on our display, it will record. Okay, so we can get out of 
you failed. Okay. All right. Um, now let's mess with the audio. So right now, our desktop audio, you want to go to this little gear here, go to properties, and pick out where you know your audio is going to. So me, my, my example, I know that all of my audio is going to my speakers through my USB audio codec. So now, whatever I play, let me bring up an example. Um, I need an example. Okay, as you can see, this is playing on my desktop and the audio is being picked up right here. Okay, so choose your, de choose your desktop audio where you know your, sp your, your audio is playing out of and just pick it right here. And then here you can actually mess with the mixing of the sound. I should pick a longer video. Do I have a longer video? Uh, okay, we'll, we'll do one of these old videos. Okay, so right now, so here's the audio for my desktop and here's the audio for a microphone. And here you can actually mix, mix it up as you're doing it to create that balance uh, between your desktop audio and your actual microphone. Okay, so that's simple enough. Your microphone. Let's end this. Let's go to the little gear here. You can go to properties, and here you can actually choose your microphone. I have several microphones. I have my USB mic, which is this one right here. That's picking me up. And then I have my webcam microphone. I have the option to choose either one. Okay, but I'm, still, I'm gonna stick with my regular microphone. And set that, and then that's set up. Now, once everything is set up there, you know what file codec you wanna use. You know what encoder, um, encoder recording, where your files are being saved, your audio set up, uh, for your microphone and your desktop. Uh, you, you have an understanding of here's your scene, here's your, here's your scenes, and here's what you're recording within your scene. When you have multiple scenes, this is so you can be, uh, if you have multiple uh, displays going on at the same time, you can choose between them and start kind of almost like have like a studio look going back and forth between, uh, between sources of that you're trying to record. All right, so once you feel like everything's ready to go, your sound's rolling, your, your mic's going, uh, video's looking good, and you're, you are where you are, and you're, and you're ready to actually do your, um, your recording of your tutorial or recording of your gameplay, all you gotta do is just start recording. You can minimize that window, and you're off to it. That's it. Once that's done, you just go back to it, and you then just stop record, and then the video will take a little time to compose itself. Uh, so don't just, don't, Here's a tip, don't stop recording and then, compl and then immediately X out of the program because then you actually could lose your file. All right guys, so that's it. Those are the basics of OBS Studio. I hope it helps you wrap your head around everything here. Really simple once you uh, get into it. Uh, go ahead, check the channel. I'll have more OBS videos uh, diving deeper into uh, other features and options of OBS Studio. Um, if you found that this video helped you out, please leave a like. Uh, if you wanna see more videos, if you wanna catch those other OBS videos as well, go ahead, subscribe. And until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.